What's up, you guys? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Honestly, I really need a Red Bull right now, so I got my Red Bull. We have some stuff to talk about, okay? This is a stock-ish related video. Nothing to do with DoorDash, so... Oh, I know I'm in my car, but I really wanted to make this video right away because it's all happening right now. And so I'm going to try to get this video out today. So hopefully you guys can see this while it's happening. So I didn't even want to try to get myself put together. I just want to get on this. So don't mind my face, my craziness. It's okay. So, oh my gosh, where should I even start? First, I want to say that this video is not any, not like any sort of educational video at all. Like I'm, it's not like my normal stock videos where I give you a bunch of information about the stocks and stuff and like details. This is more like just about Robin Hood now and a little bit about GameStop and all the other stocks that have to do with what's going on. So I might say some things that are a little bit wrong in here just because I haven't done a whole lot of research on it. I just know what's going on and I want more people to know what's going on and I want you to know why I am no longer going to be supporting Robinhood or even using Robinhood really and I'll tell you my plans with that as well. So pretty much what's been going on is so if you didn't know what you probably do if you're watching this but GameStop has literally gone through the roof this past week it was literal dollars like a couple not even a couple weeks ago and now it hit it hit like 500 bucks this morning before market hours and if you're curious I did not own any of it and I actually for some reason thought it would be fun to buy not even two shares like 1.7 shares of it at $349 and so I figured, you know what, I might as well get it because I was seeing it go up and I thought, you never know, maybe it'll just keep going up. And honestly, it did for a minute. Like it was going up. And then this morning, which today is Thursday, I think the 27th, maybe the 28th. I don't even know what day it is today. Sorry. But I was like, oh my gosh, I looked at my phone before market hours and it was at $500. And so I was like, oh my gosh, what the heck? This is great. But then I remembered my mom told me something yesterday about how they're talking that they might not make it where you can't buy the stocks, like stuff like that, which is really, really like strange. And you'd think it'd be like illegal, but I figured, you know what? That's probably not going to happen. Like I didn't really think that would happen. So I wasn't worried. So I just kept my shares. And so, so I get up again later and I check the stock and I think the lowest I saw it was like 173. And so I go on to Robin Hood and I realize that it has, I'll put, put a picture up here so you can see what it says. That's like their little wording of you can't, you can sell pretty much is what it's saying, but you can't buy anything. Like you can't, you can, you can buy not, but not those stocks, specific stocks. You can't buy GameStop on Robin Hood. But to my knowledge, that is only Robin Hood right now. Like I can go into Weeble right now and I can buy some if I wanted. So why this is a pretty much a big problem is because a lot of people use Robin Hood. And so they're not able to buy it. So it's making the value go down. Like the stock, it's not getting as many shares bought in. So the stock is going down, you know, that's how it works. So people are very happy. I've actually been watching that Wall Street bets, whatever it's called on Reddit, because I know that's kind of how this all started with GameStop and stuff. So I've just been reading what they're saying. People are really not happy with Robinhood. I'm not happy with Robinhood. I just, I've been doing a little bit of research, but not a whole ton. I've just been driving, doing orders and watching videos, but I've just been hearing other people talk about it and about how it's just like, it's just crazy that, that I mean, Robin Hood's trying to act like, oh, it's to protect people, investors, blah, blah, blah. But honestly, it's because right now the, there were a lot of people who, you know, were betting on that the stock would fail. Okay. And now that the stock is not failing, they are out a ton of money right now. And most of these people are really, 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 really wealthy people. And so it's just crazy because this could happen to, you know, normal day people, people like me, you, whatever. And they're not just going to make it so no one can buy the stock on their platform. You know what I mean? Like we wouldn't have that much power to be like, Hey, I'm losing a lot of money. You need to make it. So this stock is not worth so much. You know, does that make sense? Hopefully it makes sense. I also want to bring up how this is not just GameStop. They actually are doing this to like quite a few stocks right now. And I think it's because they're worried that this is going to happen with other stocks, like that it'll be manipulated or whatever, or like people will have the price go way up because a lot of people are going to be buying certain stocks and stuff. So I'm not sure the exact number and I'm not going to go through all of them with you, but there is another one that I actually own, but I only have like 17 shares of it and I got it at 51 cents and it's at like two bucks or close to $2 right now. So I haven't gained much, but they're not letting people buy that one either. And I don't even know why, to be honest with you. Like, I don't know what's going on with that stock. It's called NAKD, Naked. 
but it's not just that one there's tons of other socks that they're not letting you buy right now like all you can do is sell how are they allowed to do that we are on a public where we all have the choice to buy stocks you know what i mean like we live in america there's a stock market it's publicly traded these aren't like private stocks or anything so how can they tell us that no you can't buy it? and then try to act like it's for our own good like I, obviously i already knew going into getting gamestop that most likely it was a bad decision but i just want to do it just for fun i never i never really make really stupid financial decisions if you watch my videos but for some reason there was something in my brain that was telling me to buy that stock and so i did and i still am holding on to it because i'm hoping that maybe before it crashes like it probably will because i do think gamestop will eventually crash but hopefully before it does it will go up to at least maybe 400 or 380 whatever and i can at least sell it and get my money back so i know that was a stupid move on my part but i don't regret it to be honest with you like i've had fun with this so sometimes it's good to just have some fun and not i know it's a big amount of money because it's not like it's a five dollar stock or anything but hey i did it there you go that's all you can say but uh, i just i was going to sell it this morning until robin hood did this shit i couldn't sell it before market hours it wouldn't let me at 500 dollars, or i definitely would have and then next thing you know it's like 200 bucks so yeah i'm just not very happy i i know a lot of people are talking about this right now and i would love to hear your opinions on it if for some reason you agree with what's going on i don't know i don't know why but I don't know. I feel like most of the people that agree with it are the people, you know, like I said, were really betting against Robin, or not Robin Hood, but GameStop and stuff. And so they're getting screwed right now out the butt and they're losing a lot of money. These people are mostly already super wealthy. So it's just, it's funny because you're seeing all these people posting how much they're making from GameStop, like millions of dollars. And then it's the, obviously the people that are losing that money. It's going to these other people that probably aren't even nearly as wealthy. And so it's just, kind of ironic that they're like throwing a fit because if this was happening vice versa i guarantee you if if it was someone who wasn't nearly as powerful or wealthy or wall street people whatever it wouldn't be as big of a deal and this would not be going on so it's just it's honestly crazy you know i haven't experienced anything like this while i've been on the stock market or dealing with the stock market and it's just crazy and so i'm just a little bit frustrated i know this is not a very educational video like i already said it's more of me expressing how i feel about the situation so if you would like to do the same like i said let me know down below like i also said i probably i'm not i'm going to figure out a way with where i'm going to either the only difficult thing with the robin hood shit is i have so many shares of neo on there and i do think there's a way you can transfer your robin hood shares and stuff your money i believe you can transfer to weeble without having to sell because that's the only reason i wouldn't totally get rid of robin hood is i would just if worse comes to worse i will just leave all the shares i have on there as is and then no longer buy anything from there and then i will no longer be promoting robin hood the only time i'd be mentioning robin hood is i would be talking about my monthly updates and i would have to show you guys just some of it but i'll make it clear that i personally don't want to be using robin hood anymore anymore and I'll just have to get used to Weeble, which is great because if you didn't know, I, I'm not a huge fan of Weeble just because I don't like the setup. And I do like the setup of Robinhood, but I don't agree with the company that's going to pretty much make it impossible to do what we should be allowed to do. So I'm not going to support that. And that's my plan. Let me know if you know if it's possible to switch without having to sell all of your shares because I am not doing that. Like there's no way I'm going to sell all of my Neo shares. I have like a profit of like 40 four thousand or something on neo right now and i'm not going to sell that and then like have to pay tax on it because i'm planning on holding it for a long time so it's just kind of tough and i don't want to rebuy it at this price that it's at i like my average cost of 17 dollars. so i don't know you guys i don't know but let me know if you have any advice on that and what you guys are doing if you're gonna just keep using robin hood if you don't care blah blah, blah. i don't know but thank you guys so much for watching this little ranty video i really appreciate being able to come on here and talk to you guys so yeah thank you please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy learn something please subscribe if you have not already and i will see you guys in my next video bye